morning, smooth skins. Gonna be honest, I didn't sleep too well. You know, the idea of uh, having little green men camped out beside me over in the water was a bit disconcerting. Though the sound of the waves lapping against the shore was rather relaxing for a change. See if I can find my way out of here. Guess we got a storm coming in this morning, which is fine. A little bit of rain never hurt anybody. Well, you know, except unless it gives you pneumonia. Which is a possibility. Yes. Okay, here we go. This way we can go out, yeah? We've got stuff stashed here, gotta remember that. Be back for that later. Can I go out this way? This'll work. This'll work. That'll do. So. Yeah. The water being on fire and stuff over here. I don't remember that being a thing last time I was out here, so I'm going to assume it's related to the close encounter we had previously. I don't see anybody over here, but I uh, can't be too careful. Going into unexplored territory, and to boot, we are going to be... Probably squaring off against some aliens. Wolves are also no less dangerous. Can always have a peek over here, though, while we're here. Make sure that my... it is. Okay, good. Making sure my mind detector's still on, and it is. Can't be too careful, though, you know? Day I forget's the day I die. That's the world we live in. One mistake, and... That's it, you're gone. I see someone over there. I'm hesitant to shoot on sight, though, like I have been, because we have seen friendlies up in this area, so it could be a friendly. Oh. God, you son of a bitch, I didn't see you sneaking up on me. Ruining my ambush. Was thinking I'd maybe make some noise and see if that guy reacts, and if not, then uh, we can probably assume he's not immediately hostile. It seems okay. You scuttling little bastards. Oh, okay, yeah. Just going after the muck, the muck crabs, the mute crabs, yeah. Hey. Okay. Well, hey, if you're not against me, then you're with me, so that's fine with me. I'll call that a win. Hope that wasn't like your pet mute crab or something, because, you know. Huh, let's pour it up.
Maybe it's just an oil spill that caught on fire or something, I don't know. Maybe a old boat deteriorated and just decided to give way. No traps or anything, right? Okay. Oh. Okay, what is that? What does that set off then? Good thing we're so agile we don't set those off anymore. Hmm. Still not sure. Oh, that's what that set off. Combat shotgun. Still not sure if that's alien spacecraft or just an oil spill, I guess. Let's go find out. I don't want to keep myself in suspense any longer. Oh, hey, uh, good job. I guess there were little green men about, uh... These guys would help us take him out, maybe. Hopefully. Well, there's, uh, there's nothing for it. I guess we're taking a swim. Good thing the rads don't bother us. A cold might. But... Is this it? <gasps> I think it is. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of alien craft. It's so hard to see down here. See some alien blaster rounds. Okay, there's some more down there. Maybe we'll find a gun. <gasps> God, it's freaking cold in here. I don't even know what I'm picking up. Maybe I got a gun, maybe not. Oh, God, I gotta go back up. Oh, God, stuck. I'm stuck. Get out of there. Come on. Up. Up, 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 up. <sighs> Gotta drop this shit. I'm just, just grabbing stuff blindly. Fucking giddy up buttercup. Laying around over there. Being too heavy. Okay, it was on this side. Right over here. Alien blaster rounds everywhere. I don't want this damn back leg. Oh god, I'm really kind of stuck here. <gasps> Look, there's gotta be a gun around here somewhere, right? That'll warm me up in a hurry. Unless I got it already and I didn't notice. Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. I don't need this thing either. Unless there's maybe, like, an alien <laughs> that made it out of here. Laying around here somewhere, you know? So hard to see down here, though. 
if he did make it out. Not sure where he'd be. He could have gotten ejected from the craft pretty far away. These guys are probably here checking out the crash site too. Just don't want to go in the water. The only one dumb enough to do that. I'm gonna have to make a fire, I think, probably. And warm up. And keep looking around a bit. Well, I've dug along the ocean floor about as much as I possibly can. I don't see anything. If I was the alien captain, the most logical thing, if you were still alive, would have been to uh, crawl out and find yourself on the shore over here. Not sure what these guys are on about, but um, oh, literally, he's right here. Well, thank you. Hope you weren't going for that, because it's mine. I triggered that thing through some... I mean, I don't think I meant to, but I triggered that event. Whoa! You want to chill out? Oh, you're fighting ghouls. Okay, well, fine. Have at it then, I suppose. You scared me for a second there. I thought you turned on me. Thought we were no longer friends there. Okay, well. Mystery solved and we got a nice gun out of the deal. Is it any good? I mean... It's alright, I guess. Kinda comforting, I guess, to know that we weren't that far behind them, at least in weapons technology. Though, I don't know, maybe I can modify it and make it even better. Okay, so this is the area we're supposed to be going to, yeah? This is the bridge we're supposed to cross to, and the boat should be down over here. Pretty crappy day out, can't really see too much out there. With the snow going, it's hard to spot any motion. A bridge like this going to a small island could be... I mean, this could be a really good defensible area, I guess, is my thought. And if I were a survivor, I might think about holding up over here, you know? Would be a wise move. I don't have any scoped weapons, do I? Not on me, nope. Not sure if I saw a bird out of the corner of my eye, or... someone running around over there. Probably just a bird. It's really not great weather to be walking around in. Trying to scope this area out. Okay. That's not what I was thinking would be here. Robots, huh? That's an Assaultron model. I don't know where they are, though.
There is... Hello. That's where they are. Okay, we have a pulse mine, impact grenades. I don't have any pulse grenades. But... Allocating additional power to the sensors. I had to have hit that thing, but... Okay, um... Look, we gotta... we gotta pop a... Stealth Boy here. The hostile will be detected and eliminated. Additionally... Let's do Comex. Buff Tats. Jet Fuel, Medex. Cola, Overdrive. Some rum, just for flavor. And make sure that we have, uh, that ready. You cannot hide from me, you How did that not kill that? I don't know where I'm going at this point. I'm just going. I'm just going. I can't believe that didn't kill that robot. What a tough son of a bitch. All right. Where the hell am I now? Over here. Okay. I would say, um, plans have changed after we find that, we found that. I want that boat, but we need, I, I don't know, we need more firepower. I mean, I don't know what to really do. Uh, this, if this thing's not enough, if my laser rifle's not enough with how much damage that thing does, I, I don't know what is going to kill that freaking thing. That's, that's crazy. It's a crazy amount of damage is going to be required. Hmm. I'm really, really shocked that wasn't enough. Well, I hate to leave here empty-handed, uh, but I think I'm going to be doing just that. I think I want my gauze rifle. And I think I want to take those guys out from long range. Long range sniping on a good day where I can actually see... Which means we gotta go back. But, um... I should at least get the stuff I left, the valuable stuff I left over here. Maybe scavenge around a bit more in this area. Bring stuff back over here. To the marina. We stashed everything over here. Not in here, obviously, but we stashed stuff over in this, uh... Building here. Maybe I could do some scavenging around here, look around, see what we can find. See who we can take stuff from. And then, uh... I suppose we could use a scrap kit or make a scrap kit. Not sure if I have one on me or not, but we could make a scrap kit and then... Break everything down. Take back the useful stuff. Here we go. Right, was it in here? Yeah, here's where everything is at. So, we're gonna make this our base of operations for now. Our kind of, uh, local base of operations for now. I guess, um... Can drop some stuff off into here. For the time being. 
heat drop on this thing, but we'll put it in there for now. I'm not going to be using it anytime soon. I want to see if I can modify it. Actually, I guess I could check right now and see what kind of modifications I could make to it. So it can be modified to shoot fusion cells. Does quite a bit less damage, a lot less than our laser rifle, so that will be doing that. Could make a scope on this thing, I guess, which would be nice for long range. Honestly, it's cool, but it's not really all that impressive. I expected more from you aliens. Gonna be honest, I'm a bit disappointed. Anything else we can drop off? What am I carrying? It's so damn heavy. I guess with my various kits and whatever booze and stuff I'm carrying. Booze and food. Yeah, we got a quite a bit of booze, I guess. And food, too. Okay, fair enough. Keep those snack cakes on me in case I get hungry. Wouldn't mind having a Molotov around, I guess. Uh, oh, the flamer, too, right? The flamer is heavy as hell. Yeah, that, that would do it. Okay. Alright, so we'll look around a bit up here. I don't want to, like, waste my time just beelining back and forth. I suppose there ought to be a place we can go under over here as well, since, you know, I don't know if I've explored this area fully as well. No, I haven't. There's still stuff laying around I want to get. Free chems, free food, free water, probably. All kinds of goodies laying around. Yeah, this is like a metro station, so... Assuming it's a metro, there's probably an entrance to the metro somewhere, if it hasn't been caved in already. Might even connect back into, uh... Our metro. I mean, I would assume so. It'd be the point, right? To be able to travel throughout this area pre war. Lower our gun here to make sure they know that we're not hostile. Yeah, here we go. Revere Beach Station. Alright. These guys are all riled up. But they're not hostile to me. All right. Well, let's see what's down here, yeah? Who knows, maybe they got some kind of leader down here who will uh, talk to me. Okay, well, definitely explosives or something around here. It makes me nervous. Something just blew up. God, they didn't hurt that much, but they sure are disgusting. We'll probably get this uh, 
this robot out. But if I'm gonna do that, I might as well leave a present for him. That way I can get some free, easy fusion cells. Sweet. There we go. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Very sorry about that misfortune there, but thank you for the restock. I did just blow through a bunch of my fusion cells. Okay, I see a trap over here. Could this be what's causing me all this? It's gotta be more than that, right? And I guess that was it. Anything good in here, or is it just a honey pot? Yes. Yeah. It's kind of good, I guess. Mostly a honey pot, though. Well, this isn't giving me any alarm bells, though. It really should be. Definitely hear some more roaches scurrying around. Oh, someone had a jet stash over there, huh? Whoa! These guys were hauling. Okay, so a couple different ways we can go here. Now, oh, there's still more here. I thought so. Just not sure where exactly this one's at. We can't go this way, I guess. Looks all boarded up. So, this way we go. I hear some regular footsteps, too. Well, these people are not exactly friendly, but if they've been attacked as much as I have by the regular survivors, I can't say I blame them. We're, uh, we're okay? We're okay, fellas? Hey. Hey there. I think we're okay. Not friendly just anybody, but they're friendly to me, which is good enough, I suppose. Hmm, some goodies over here. No way I'm cracking this. But I can't get in there, okay. It says stop, but so far they seem to be pretty okay with me being here. Hmm. What about back here? Oh. Another one of you guys, huh? Definitely more explosives around here, maybe on the other side of this. This seems like it probably goes all the way around. There's definitely more 
inhabitants on that side. Yeah, and just hoping I can find someone to talk to and maybe they can tell me about this place. We're still cool? We're okay? Uh, <clears throat> hey. I guess we're fine. They don't mind me being here anyway. Hi. Hey there. They don't mind me taking their stuff either, which is great too. Hey. Hey there. Do you mind if I get through there? There we go, thank you. It's a cool, uh... front thing, whatever you have. There's some kind of armor. Excuse me. Hey. Yeah. See that being useful, I guess. Well, nothing's given me any kind of warning bells in terms of my mind detector. I guess we're okay to keep going forward here. Some ram supplies and stuff around here, too. They don't seem to mind if I take them. Um, we're, we're okay, right? Okay, he was just, uh... I don't know, they're just jumpy, I guess. I mean, just making sure I'm not hostile, I'm not really sure. I just keep worrying if they might, you know, club me in the back of the head or something. When I get up here. <clears throat> hey there. But, I mean, they seem okay so far. Even going so far as letting me take all their stuff Bye. over here. Hey. hey there. Hey there. Okay. Hey. Hey. Yeah, some kind of meat cooking over here. I mean, looks too big of a muscle to be human. I'd say it's probably cow. That's good. They're not eating people, at least. It's a good sign. This goes a ways back in here, huh? Got sleeping bags and... Sentence... By the will of the Almighty Father, these men are hereby sentenced to death. Their crimes include, but are not limited to, murder, theft, perjury, trespassing. May this be a warning. Interesting. Well, I'm certainly guilty of all those crimes, but not necessarily against these people, so maybe we're okay. Hey there. Hey there. Hmm. Decent double barreled shotgun. They just don't seem to mind if I take it either. I could just take it off the wall and they'd be okay. I'm just not used to this level of uh, acceptance and, you know, non-hostility and everything. People just being kind of chill. Guard report. June 8th, 2081. President Marchand has sent us out to Revere Beach Station to investigate reports of attacks from the surface. To be honest, ghost stories are the least of Revere Beach's problems. Walking the blue, I noticed water dripping from the ceiling. It struck me this line is directly beneath the bay. Marchand needs to send engineers out here pronto if he doesn't want the whole system to get flooded. We reached the station around midday and talked with the local mayor. He's a cold man, but not near as cold as the rest of the station. For a station so close to downtown, it's remarkable how disconnected they are from the rest 
of the Federation. I suppose there aren't many access tunnels in these parts. The mayor and the rest of the townsfolk seemed convinced that what attacked them was human, although one girl insisted the invaders were ghouls. I've heard my fair share of tall tales from the scavers over at the Hound's Head, but ghouls' tales have to be the most absurd of them all. Supposedly, some humans miraculously survived the radiation of the surface, but at a cost. Shriveled and soulless, these monsters prowl the snow, searching for little children who have not eaten their dinner. At least, we can rule that one out. We surveilled the damage, and I must agree with the mayor. We're facing people from another station, most likely. Postal again? Or a traitor within the Federation? In any case, we must be ready for them to return. We set up camp in the tunnels outside Postal. No room at the inn, it would seem. If these raiders come back, they'll have the full might of downtown to deal with. More of that story than I would, I would guess. And there's more back through here as well. These people have been, I don't know, starved to death, tortured, kept there for information. Again, these, these ghouls are not friendly, but then again, the rest of the world has not been friendly to them, so I can hardly blame them for that. This goes underwater, huh? No other way to go. No, that's it. The only way we can go is underwater. So it seems that flooding that was talked about with this place going under the bay, it seems like that actually happened. That's a very disturbing sight to say the least. This is not the smartest thing I could be doing, gonna be entirely honest. <gasps> it's not that far of a swim to be honest, it's not that bad. It's cold, but not as cold as the service, at least, so there's that. And the rads don't seem to bother me in particular too much, so... You know. Someone got turned around here, didn't make it. <gasps> Without a headlamp, I suppose it would be pretty perilous, though. Anything in here? No, just a submerged cart. <laughs> okay, I hear more mines now, though. Best be on our guard, then. Something went down here, that's for sure. There's a guard post or something at some point. Looking for any kind of notes or anything laying around. I don't see anything, though. Be good to clear this place out so we can have free passage back and forth. too much about it. There's one. 
Okay, there we go. We're good. Guard report. They've taken the forward camps. No contact with Revere Beach. We cannot stop them. Our only hope is to collapse the tunnel. God rest our souls. So they collapsed the tunnel. It wasn't just regular flooding. They actually collapsed it. Or are they talking about this as opposed to that flooding back there? Different area? Not really sure. Hey, 762 rounds. Ah, oh, and the final guards report. It's done. No sense packing up. We leave this place as it is. May it serve as a reminder of the enemy we face. Hmm. So are we passing back into Federation territory now? I mean, it must loop back somehow eventually. If they were going back and forth with the Federation. We'll see where this goes. Well, this is Metro, all right. Awfully quiet here. And there are turrets. We want to be careful not to set those off. Don't need that kind of action right now. Hmm, lots of telephones. That's a lot of circuitry. That's nice. Very nice laser rifle. Hmm. Nice automatic barrel. A gyro lens. Not the modifications I would choose to use, personally. Not when the ammo is at such a premium. But, you know. To each their own, I guess. This is a baggage pickup. Is this the airport? Gotta be the airport. Pretty deserted for now. Could be a lot of good salvage in here. I guess there's no reason for me to be crouched over like a gremlin. Since our mind detector's not going off or anything, you know? Hear something? Oh, yeah, I hear something. There's ghouls down there. A couple of ghouls. I don't know that I can shoot. Th I can shoot through this or not. No, it's this glass here. Doesn't look like it, but there is. Yeah, there's glass there. Here there's not. Maybe there is. Yeah, there still is.
Yeah, no, it's not going through. Well, look at that. Food everywhere, food. An ID card, too. We can get to places in here. Oh, it's all irradiated. Well, some of it is. Yeah, most of it's irradiated, though. That's a real bummer. All but one. Now, I don't think they can uh, get through here, so... They shouldn't have the crazy regeneration that they normally have either, so that might even be enough to kill them. If they stay lit on fire for a while. Yeah, like I said. Pretty effective underground. That'll help thin out the herd a bit. I was kind of lucky, I'm not going to lie. I was aiming for that thing, but I got that guy in the head instead. Okay. Clean kills. Clean kills. Pretty good job. We got the place to ourselves now, and we can uh, pick through it at our leisure, I'd say. Which is nice. We've got a lot of good stuff here. So yeah, I'll most certainly take stuff back and uh, break it down. We have a couple cooking stations we can use to take all of our stuff that we haven't been able to cook yet over to. We found out here. We can uh, make a scrap kit or two. Assuming I can get enough adhesive, which I'm pretty sure I have enough. And then, uh, break everything down, take it back in component form, and... Yeah, good stuff. It'll take me a while, but be a pretty nice haul. I'd say it'd be worth it. Yeah, definitely worth it to go through all this. There's a lot more here in the airport, too. This is just a lower level. Another fusion core here, too, if I'd ever be inclined to use one. I'd love to get these guys out and kill them, but uh, dropping a mine over here is not going to work. It's they're going to step out and trip it as soon as I get them out of their shells, and that would be no good, so... 
Maybe we won't do that. Yeah, I think I'll be doing a bit of, uh... Transporting stuff back and forth here. We're gonna take a while, but... It'll be worth my time. That one's not going anywhere. This one, however... Surprisingly still works. Facilities. Goes all the way back up, I think, to the ground floor, I'd say. Lower level. Lower level, okay. Well, I'm pretty much full already, and I have several inventories worth of stuff back at our little makeshift base at the Reeb Marina. Maybe I go back down through here, take what I have, dump it all off. Facilities. Maybe make a scrap kit if I can back there. There was a chem bench back there, should be able to. And then bring that over here and maybe we can uh, gather stuff up through the airport here. It's got, there's bound to be a lot of good scrap here. Scrap through the airport, salvage all of it down into the base components, and then we can transport it back to base and then keep exploring around here. And at some point I'll have to go and get my gauze rifle and do what we actually came here for, which is, you know, to take out. Well, to get our boat, which means taking out those very, very scary enemies we saw earlier. Okay, sounds like a plan. But for now... Back we go. There's more area we can explore over here, too. Maybe this is where it leans in, leads into the other area. I'm not really sure. Mm, some gas there. Just saw something. Oh, money. Yeah, there's more to explore down this way, too. This could be the tunnel that leads down into our other area, the Federation territory. And this airport area is kind of the no-man's land between the two. Anyway, we're all full for now. Let's head back.